Media mogul Mo Abudu calls out, um, calls Sky News to order on the derogatory um, title they use for a publication on their platform. The publication basically depicted African hairstyle as spiky coronavirus haircuts. Um, the threading hairstyle worn by the black women dates back to the 15th century, but the reporter had misrepresented the look with thoughts of it just starting to gain popularity in Africa. The platform has since edited the story to make it clearer that corona hairstyle was a term used by the hairdresser in Kenya. Yeah, go on. <laughs> I'd love to hear your take Spit it message. out. Uh, they, I think hair for black people have been a very touchy subject because um, hair is identity and our identity has been very shaken from slavery and colonization and all of that type of stuff, um, from perming hair and all of that stuff. So there is a, a very like, it, it is shaky and tricky situation to thread on, especially when you start going into um, African and black American communities where, you know, colonization and slavery and oppression is still very active. Um, so people don't take it very lightly when a mistake like this happens. Um, I find it really derogatory. I feel like if this was a white person that made one style, they would have still found a way to just make it look very appetizing and like, they would have called it like creative and unique or something. Um, but I felt like the title was very like, I don't know. I don't think maybe he, the person thought well enough to not avoid coming across as derogatory. I don't think that their intention was that I want to make these people feel bad, but I don't think the person did enough job to avoid that. Um, and for me, it's pretty much the same. I like that they've corrected the, the incident, and even if the Kenyan woman is claiming now that that's the name that she coined it, I, don't, I still think that, that that's not the focus. The focus isn't about Kenya or the woman. It's about you as a whitewashed um, media outlet not taking um, the, Af the African history and, uh, you know, our identity serious enough to do your research and make sure that it's factual. I don't think the person even needs to do a lot of research to find out that this hairstyle is, is not a corona hairstyle, like yeah. they had put it. it. It wasn't going to take anything to actually find that out. So I think this was just... Um, should I call it lazy now on mm. the part of the reporter? And I'm glad that they've taken to correction and they've corrected this. And I'm glad that someone like Muabudu um, was able to speak up on issues like this because you would expect, I mean, most of the times we, we pay attention to things that affect us directly. Mm. And it's not my business. I don't wear this kind of hairstyle. I mean, I've never seen her wearing that kind of hairstyle. Yeah. But I think she's part of the team natural vibe to a certain extent. So yeah, I like that she was able to do this and they listened and did the right thing. Mm. Are you sure you guys want to hear my take on this? Not really. I'm kidding. Because yeah. <laughs> sure. cause to be honest, okay, I like the fact that you, you started with um, it's derogatory and following the history from slavery to colonization and all of that. Yes, if you look at it from that angle. But like you also said, I don't think this person did it to be derogatory to Africans. So I think sometimes we tend to take things too seriously. But if we don't as well, maybe we'll give room or we'll, for, for more derogatory stuff to be done. But I don't think like... I read that story, like I read the full article. Did you read it before it was edited or after? No, I read it after it was. I read the mm, recent that's another one. Thing. Mm. So, and what I saw was that the person was just talking about this new hairstyle and how the hairstyle is called the Corona hairstyle because I think it's just a thing like people can't really go out to go do the fancy no, thing. No, it's so just extra. I know, it's I, ridiculous. I just, to me, it's just I just feel like it's a stretch. First of all, it's not out. an important story to write. Like it's so. Um, lousy. It's a lousy script. Like, but it wasn't, talking it wasn't about... intentional to be there. No, 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 no. no. no my, my point is that it wasn't a serious script. It wasn't like a hard news that you needed a lot of facts on your table and everything. You were doing a simple, a simple, I think the person simple was just feature fun. about African thingies. The least you can do, written by a white person in 2020. The person cannot tell me that there, there, there isn't already that like sensitivity involved. The least you could have done is get your facts straight because you know it's not too much to ask when we see it done to other races like if we see that you're quoting them right you um, give their history rights you credit the right person and then when it comes to people of color you don't do the same so of course people will say that okay. the problem with the pass the passive culture which sometimes I feel like I used to just go into because I get tired of like fighting everything 
is is that why do we have to be passive like why can't you just do the right thing so that we avoid this conversation completely like why can't you just allow a person a man with a hoodie walk across his streets and not be attacked why can't you just like let the person go in the travel in the in the airport without like why can't you just get the name right of a heading like it's simple why can't you why is it that we are not turned you not turn the table and say no you should calm down and you should not be too sensitive and like relax like it's very annoying mm. okay